Hi, I'm Mike Edmiston. I'm pastor here at the Amelia Church of Christ. We are so excited that you have decided to join us for our Easter worship experience. And we're here to, we're here to do one thing, and one thing only, and that is worship God, to give God the glory and the honor and the worship that is due Him. God deserves our worship, not, not just because He's God, even though that would be enough, but it, it's so much more than just that. It's not just that He's God. It's that He is a God who loves us. God loves you like crazy. And if you don't get anything else this morning, our prayer is that you get that. That God loves you more than you can imagine. And if you don't believe me, He proved it. He proved it on the cross. You know, there's only one reason the cross even happened. Us. You and me. Jesus didn't have to hang on that cross for six hours with no clothes on, but he did. He didn't have to take those huge spikes through his wrists and his ankles, but he did. He didn't have to let people spit on him, mock him, insult him, but he did. And you want to know why he did? Us, you and me, our sin. The fact that he loved us more than he loved his own life. You don't think God loved you? He proved it. On the cross, God proved it. He proved exactly how He feels about you and me. It is a love that is beyond our ability to comprehend. But if the cross was the end of the story, we wouldn't be here today. It wouldn't be a story worth telling. God had something else to prove. On the cross, He proved His love. Resurrection, He proved He was God. You know, when Jesus died, all kinds of crazy stuff was happening. Things like the sun went dark. This, this black, this darkness fell across the whole land. Things like the tombs of, of, of dead people were breaking open. People were rising to life. It, it, it seemed like, when Jesus died, it seemed like the very fabric of our world was being ripped apart. But God wasn't done yet. Jesus died on a Friday. But Sunday was coming. Sunday... God gave the biggest tear, the biggest rip in the fabric of our world. There's one thing in our world that we have no control of, no power over, and that is death. No matter what we do, death is coming, death is inevitable, and death is forever. God changed the rules on that Sunday. God ripped away the power of death, and Jesus, after three days in the grave, rose to life again. And because of that, everything changed. Nothing was ever the same again. You know, when you look at these trees in these woods, they're, they're lifeless. There's no leaves. They're, they're, they're brown. Everything looks dead. It's what winter does. But we know that spring is here. And it's not going to be long until these woods are bursting with life again. Because God consistently can rip death apart and give new life. And that's exactly what he wants to do with you today. If you wonder, what is the significance of this cross and this resurrection? That was over 2,000 years ago. What's it have to do with me today? Everything. Everything you are. Everything you will become. It all ties back to the death and the resurrection of Jesus. And as we're going to see today, as we worship him, as we look to God to speak to us through his word, it's all about calling us from, from death to life to rip away the past. And give us a new start, new hope, a new life that only God can provide. Let Him rip the old away. And give the new life to you that He wants to give to me. 